Good morning, everybody. My name is Jade, and this is my helper today, Nevi. And I'm going to get out my trusty books of the Bible poster. And put up your hand if you can tell me what book we're looking at. Yeah? Well, these are all the books of the Bible. One of these books we were looking at last week. Now, we didn't go too much into the actual book, but we're right back at the beginning. We're back in Genesis. Okay? So today we're going to look at chapter 37. And chapter 37 tells us all about Joseph's story. So this is Joseph. And Joseph was Jacob's son. But Jacob didn't just have one son. I'm going to get my helper to hold this. Okay. So let's count to see how many sons Jacob was blessed with. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot of sons. So Jacob was very busy. God blessed him very well. And the first thing that happens in chapter 37 is Joseph is out in the field with some of his brothers as they're tending to the flocks, and he comes back to his dad and he gives him a bad report. So he says he doesn't think they're doing a very good job. So I want you to imagine if your brother or your sister or your friend at school told your mum or dad or your teacher that you were doing a bad job at something. Put up your hand if you can tell me how you would feel about that. Alice? Sad. Yeah. Georgie, how would you feel about your brothers? Yeah, you might feel a bit angry. Okay. So things aren't going so well. Then Jacob gives his son Joseph this beautiful coat. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's got all these different colours. And it shows all the rest of the brothers that Jacob thinks Joseph is really special. So how do you think the brothers are feeling now towards Joseph? Yeah, they're kind of getting a bit jealous, a bit angry. It's not going so well. Then Joseph starts having some dreams And the first dream he has, it sounds a bit funny, but it's about one bundle of wheat and 11 other bundles of wheat bowing down to that one. And he goes and tells his brothers and they say, you think we're going to bow down to you? You you think that's what's happening? So they're really quite cranky. But it doesn't stop there because Joseph has another dream. This time the sun and the moon and 11 stars are bowing down to him. So now his dad's involved, wherever his dad went, and he's saying, you think all of us and your mum and dad, everyone's going to bow down to you? He's like, yeah, well, that's what the dream's saying. So they're not feeling too good about it, okay? Now one day, they're all out in the field. Joseph comes along to check on them. Now, if you're feeling like these brothers, you're feeling a bit cranky, Put up your hand if you can tell me something you would do to Joseph. Yes? You would hurt him. Okay, yep, so we can feel our our emotions lead to sinful things. Yes, Albie, what would you do? Okay, that's not very good. We've got punching and hurting happening. But do you know what these guys say? They're like, let's just kill him. Just a minute. Okay, so I'm glad none of you said we'll just kill him, all right? So they're like, let's just kill him. But as he comes toward, one of the brothers, Reuben, said, we're not that bad. We won't kill him. Let's just put him in a pit. We'll just rip his clothes off and put him in a pit. And then they sit down, as you do after you decide to rip off your brother's clothes and put him in a pit. They just have some lunch, all right? They're having lunch, and they see some Ishmaelites in the distance, and they're like, okay. It doesn't actually help us to kill this guy. Let's just sell him into slavery. So that's a bit sad, okay? And this story shows us two things, that our our desires, our emotions can often lead to really sinful stuff happening, like near murder or just selling your brother into slavery so he can be sent off to Egypt. But as we'll keep seeing, as we read more about Joseph's story, we'll see that God is so great, great, he can use our sin to fulfill his promises that he's given us. So that's where our um, memory verse actually comes from. It comes from later on in Genesis 41 to 16. So we'll have a quick practice 
and we'll remember where that one comes from this week and then we can pray. So let's say it together. I am not able to, Joseph answered Pharaoh. It is God who will give Pharaoh a favourable answer. So this is from Genesis chapter 41, verse 16. Get, let me get my little prayer out. Bow your heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for Joseph's story. Please help us to turn away from our desires that lead to sin and let us remember that you are still able to use our sin to fulfil your promises. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.